Before beginning today's video, I would like to thank Dark Symphony for your kind donations on Buy Me A Coffee page. Thank you so much for your support, bro. At the same time, I would also like to show my appreciation to all the members that are still supporting the channel to this date. Thank you all so much as well. Eleanor is one of the supreme deities who used to supervise the world. She represents wealth as well as prosperity as she is fated to earn money even if she stays idle. Therefore, she's able to generate a lot of gold for you and she's one of the first unique characters with a dual party buff in the form of skill attack as well as like attack. So she's a very special thing and she's closely related to the faith system coming up in the future. However, is she worthy of your investments? Let us find out in today's video on How worthy is Goddess of Wealth Eleanor potentially? Below are some clarifications that I use for my different ratings as I discuss about the different aspects of the hero in Guardian Tales. Eleanor was a root-like figure in the heavens financials and her leaving the heaven after the world tree lost its power caused the heavens finances to go in major chaos. She's also the goddess of refined arts as she enjoys epic poetry, classical music and is also a skilled harp player. Melodies from her harp are told to soothe the hearts of the warriors. It is told that Eleanor did have hopes and dreams about leading the world in a better direction as a supreme goddess from the heavens and worked towards her goal. But repeated failures made her give up slowly as time progressed and now she only focuses on matters that does not require focus or any work and runs away from all sorts of important problems. Eleanor is ranked 13th in terms of attack, 40th in terms of defense and 35th in terms of HP. She also has a crit chance of 0%. She's also the first unique with a dual party buff consisting of skill damage plus 40% as well as light attack plus 25%. She also has 10% shield increase on battle start, skill damage plus 10% and weapon skill regen speed plus 2%. So that's a lot of abilities built into her. Her normal attack, Arpaggio, plays a beautiful melody to inflict damage to enemies. So you can actually charge up this attack from 0% all the way up to 200%. So if you charge it from 0 to 100%, you will just release a very light round colored ball, right, which doesn't deal a lot of damage. And if you charge it up all the way from 100 to 200%, you actually increase the range as well as the damage output of this normal attack. This attack does not pass through terrain, but is able to pass through walls, and this allows Eleanor to restore all allies' HP on hit. So in a way, I feel that Eleanor actually faced the same problem as Bianca in terms of the charging and turning mechanics, because when they charge up their normal attack, they actually slow down and their turn rate actually decreases. So sometimes, right, it's very, very hard to actually land your normal attack on the enemies if you're not very familiar with these targeting mechanics, because this is based on my personal experience, it's not very easy to gauge the charging as well as the range of your normal attack using Eleanor. Eleanor's chain skill is known as Blessing Anthem, so when she uses her chain skill, it increases all allies attack by 30% for 5 seconds and reduces light type resistance of enemies by 30%. So this chain skill, in my honest opinion, isn't really that good in the arena because there's no physical damage similar to Mia and that's why I don't think it's that good. So her special ability Harmonia increases her damage reduction by 20% when there is a light type hero present in your party. For each light type party member, it increases the attack of all members by 5% up to a maximum of 20%. So from her special ability, you can see that she's meant to be a full light team support unit because she buffs the damage of your whole team based on the number of light units you have. Her exclusive weapon is known as Benedictus, so other than increasing her heal numbers, her weapon skill regen speed, her HP as well as her defense, it also increases the normal attack damage by up to 20% and on hit, it marks the enemy with a musical note for 3 seconds. So marked enemies will be damaged by the musical note's explosion if it's not hit by the next normal attack within the next 3 seconds. 
So her exclusive weapon, Glorious Wards, allows her to release 3 sound waves to inflict 265% DPS damage as well as having a regen time of 8.5 seconds. So these sound waves, right, they are released in a fixed direction. So it's a bit hard if your opponent knows how to maneuver around your weapon skill. And usually it takes around 2 to 3 weapon skills to fully crowd control your enemy. And depending on whether or not you hit your sound waves, it could actually result in a 3 or 4 skill to CC. Now in terms of the Colosseum side, we can see that there isn't really a lot of Eleanor within Colosseum but that does not mean that she's a bad unit within Colosseum. She has a very very solid team right now consisting of Future Princess, Mark 99, Gabriel as well as herself. So Future Princess is your tank as well as CC control, Mark 99 as well as Gabriel is your damage output hero and Eleanor is the supporter of the team. So this setup is actually very very powerful. However, you don't really see that many mono light team within Colosseum because inside Colosseum, if you run a mono team, you are very very prone to one or two very powerful units. So let's say if you decide to run this team, your team will be very prone to the likes of Sohi as well as mono basic teams, which are pretty common as you guys can see on the ladder right now. So when Eleanor is initially released, I think she definitely has a place in Colosseum but definitely not the best top tier unit for Colosseum simply because running mono light team makes you very vulnerable to all these basic units. As for Arena, I think Eleanor isn't really that powerful of an Arena unit simply because number one, her party buff is a dual party buff. On paper, a dual party buff seems really good but because you diminish the values of the buff, you don't really get the min-max effect that you want, like you don't have the maximum effect of the buff that you want to build your team upon. So yes, I think she goes very well with Mark 99, but then again, light plus skill damage isn't really like the go-to thing you want for Mark 99 since she's like a right-click hero with a normal attack, so that's something to keep a lookout for. At the same time, I think Eleanor herself, right, being a charging attack hero, it's actually very hard to run if you do not have sufficient stats on her. So she works a bit like Bianca. I do believe that if you have enough stats, you might be able to make her work. But it's going to be a very tough ordeal if you're not a heavy spender. Now, at the same time, her chain skill doesn't have any form of damage. So it's hard to have any form of counterplay even if you successfully chain your opponent. So overall, you're very reliant on her normal attack damage in order to bring your opponent down. And in the current meta, there's so many full melee teams as well as ranged crit teams. So fighting against these full melee teams as well as ranged teams with normal attack damage is actually not very recommended. And overall, I don't think that Eleanor is that suitable for Arena simply because it's hard to form a team around her, number one. And number two, she requires a lot of stats and maybe a lot of control mechanics in order to make her a good unit within Arena. Now, since I already mentioned that she's very, very hard to run within Arena, I do not have any Arena footage of her because I simply couldn't make her work with my current setup as well as my stat lines. In terms of PvE, Eleanor is definitely an S tier unit because of her full team heal, her attack bar from her chain skill, as well as a semi universal party buff in the form of skill damage plus 40%. She's the perfect fit for light rate teams with light resistance down, as well as her special ability buffing more attacks the more light units you have on your team. However, I'm not putting her in the SS tier despite her overall kit because she's only really that powerful in light teams and not necessarily that versatile in terms of any other teams. Although her skill damage plus 40% is a party buff that can slot her in any team, she is not really maximized in those teams so that's why I'm not gonna put her in SS tier. I think Eleanor is a really balanced hero because she's really deemed as a support instead of a support that can do a lot of damage which is kind of outrageous in my honest opinion. But then again, since she's a support tech, right, you guys will actually compare her to the likes of Gabriel as well as Mia in terms of their healing as well as their damage output. So some of you guys might ask this and I'm going to answer the question of which one should be your recommended choice to go for in terms of supporting your team. Now, in terms of the healer position, I think Mia is the best one because she heals in terms of her normal attack, she has a healing, she also has a heal in terms of her chain skill. She's also the best debuffer in the whole game because she has so many debuffs in her kit. And overall, I think she's very versatile in terms of team building because you can really slot her in nearly any teams. And moving forward to Gabrielle, I think Gabrielle is a more offensive support. 
she doesn't heal as much as Mia, but the damage increase that she provides to your team is way higher compared to Mia, so she's more valuable if you're looking for support that can buff your whole team's damage output while healing your team a bit at the same time. So that's a good thing about Gabrielle because she's actually very good in terms of damage dealing herself. She's able to deal a lot of damage with her EX weapon and she fits really really well if you have her in a light team. But she's also very good in terms of versatility because she's not only good in light team, you can also slot her in nearly any team and she could still work. You know, just have to equip her with the right bow. So that's why she's really good in terms of that. As for Eleanor, I think Eleanor is definitely the best light team support without a doubt with her massive damage increase in mono light teams and a substantial amount of heal when you use her in battle. I'll say she's a mix between Gabrielle as well as Mia because she buffs the damage of your team while healing a lot in the process. So if you're looking for a unit around this idea, then I think Eleanor is a good choice for you. Below are some reasons to pull or invest in Eleanor. I think as a whole, Eleanor isn't really a very powerful unit, so she's definitely not that worthy in my opinion if you're looking for versatility as well as decent arena unit to run with. However, I think if you're a raid user, right, and you want to run, however, if you're a raid player and you want to build a mono light team or you're just a fan of light teams in general, then I think Goddess of Wealth is definitely worth your gems and she's definitely very up there in terms of supporting your light team. And that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comment section below about what you think about Eleanor and whether or not you'll pull for her on her release on global server. And thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe in order to see more contents from this channel. And if you'd like to support Zebo Gaming in the long run, do take a look at the Zebo Gaming membership page in order to support the channel financially. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys!